France's Rafale program has crossed a quiet but pivotal threshold as the F4.2 standard moves from flight test cards to squadron life, turning years of incremental upgrades into an operational reality. The transition is anchored by continuing test activity at ISTRAS, where lessons from government trials are being folded directly into tactics, techniques, and procedures on the flight line. Rather than a cosmetic refresh, F4.2 reframes the Rafale as a more deeply networked combat node, optimized to fight as part of a collaborative web that can whisper or shout across the spectrum depending on the threat. The introduction lands alongside firm budget commitments that lock in the next wave of airframes and retrofits, ensuring that what crews are experiencing in training loops today becomes the default experience across the force in the decade ahead. The through line is straightforward, shorten decision cycles, harden connectivity, and scale those gains with predictable procurement. At the heart of F4.2 is connectivity that survives punishment. Link 16 Block 2 brings modernized coalition data exchange, while the contact software-defined radio layers resilient voice and data pathways tailored for jamming heavy environments. The architecture is tied together by Capoeira, a backbone that manages how information is moved, fused, and displayed, reducing the cognitive clutter that can sink even the most capable avionics. Crucially, the suite enables collaborative combat methods that are meaningful beyond buzzwords. Multiple aircraft can build a single tactical picture from different vantage points, allowing one flight to sense, another to fix, and a third to strike, without all of them advertising their presence on the airwaves. Passive detection is a central theme, and F4.2 strengthens it with a new infrared optic in the forward sector OSFIRST line, a quiet hunter that aids identification and tracking when emissions must be kept low. That sensor works in concert with Tragedac, which turns a patrol into a distributed geolocator by cross-fixing angles of arrival from multiple platforms. The result is the ability to generate firing quality solutions or cue other shooters without turning on a radar. When emissions are required, the Rafale's RBE-2AESA radar provides the agility to hop waveforms, track multiple targets, and resist jamming inside an open systems approach that supports iterative enhancement. Taken together, the stack is less about any single, silver bullet, and more about a resilient chain from first detection to weapons employment that can be dialed up or down to match the mission. F4.2 builds directly on the F4.1 step, so crews are not starting from zero. The Scorpion helmet-mounted site is already in service, enabling off-boresight queuing, improved situational awareness, and faster task saturation recovery in dynamic merges. The AASM 1000 kg weapon doubles down on standoff, off-axis attack geometry, and terminal precision, while the modernized fire control logic for Meteor has translated into real changes in useful range and no escape parameters against agile or low RCS threats. Those F4.1 features, matured and better networked under F4.2, mean the platform's improvements show up in small, repeatable ways, a target identified sooner, a handoff executed faster, a missile launched from a better kinematic position, a strike profile rerolled without a voice call. Tempo is the most noticeable change in employment. Link 16 Block 2 and Capoeira stabilize the common operating picture with NATO partners while reducing the number of manual steps required to vet and share tracks. Mixed air, Navy formations benefit as well, especially when the carrier strike group requires strict emissions control at ingress, followed by rapid bursts of high power radar and data link activity for the terminal phase. Tragedac's ability to produce passive fixes lets a flight remain a shadow until weapons are already inbound. SATCOM support extends control loops beyond line of sight, preserving cohesion when terrestrial relays are degraded and enabling persistence that matters in distant maritime or desert theaters. For crews, the change feels less like a new trick and more like fewer reasons to stop and ask for permission. These capabilities matter precisely where airspace is least permissive. Under the umbrellas of systems such as S-300-400 or HQ-9, strike packages must thread carefully, peeling open corridors without tipping their hand too early. 
Rafalis at the F-4 standard add value to suppression and destruction of enemy air defenses by knitting their sensors with off-board assets, luring emitters with decoys, and handing targets across the kill web with minimal latency. AASM-1000 allows off-axis entries and complex terminal profiles that frustrate defenders, while Meteor, employed through the modernized chain, stretches the denial bubble far enough to shape a fight before it fully starts. The blend of passive and active modes keeps the adversary guessing, is the formation there, or merely being suggested by a pattern of disappearing tracks. The program numbers provide the mass that gives these qualitative gains operational weight. Government papers for 2026 lay out an order of 52 additional aircraft, elevating the total objective to 288. Force level targets call for roughly 178 airframes in service by the end of 2030 and around 225 by 2035, a pathway aligned with an Aura Faili fleet across air and navy. Two aircraft in the 2026 batch replace losses recorded in 2024, avoiding a net dip in strength, and the delivery cadence begins with a single airframe in 2026, with the remainder staggered thereafter. This pacing is not accidental. It underwrites squadron transitions to F4.2 while preserving sortie generation, and it keeps maintenance and training pipelines from whipsawing. Industry's task is to keep the river smooth. Dassault Aviation and its partners are preparing to scale production rates toward five aircraft per month when contracts and demand align, even as they juggle retrofits, fresh builds, and replenishment for frontline units. The 2026 orders are structured to bridge technology steps, from F4.1 into F4.2 and onward to F4.3, while funding early bricks of the F5 architecture. In parallel, work continues on a loyal wingman unmanned combat air vehicle rooted in the Neuron Demonstrator, an essential piece of a future pilot drone ecosystem. Ground training and simulators track these changes closely, networking tactics cannot be bolted on in the cockpit, they have to be learned, drilled, and made muscle memory. Strategically, a coherent F-4.X fleet strengthens France as both a national and alliance contributor. Within NATO, better connected Rafales thicken the air defense screen, reinforce airborne deterrence, and simplify combined operations by reducing mismatches in the common recognized air picture. European theaters from the Baltic to the high north and the Mediterranean benefit from the ability to create passive targeting solutions, share them securely, and coordinate complex strikes under electronic duress. The same attributes are export-relevant. In the Middle East and the Indo-Pacific, where contested spectrum and long reach are defining characteristics, resilience and networking are beginning to weigh as heavily as raw fleet size and force mix debates. Looking forward, F4.2 is a waypoint, not a terminus. F4.3 is already under assessment, and the runway toward F5 suggests a broader shift in human-machine teaming, distributed sensing, and modular payloads. The emphasis on open architecture and hardened links is a hedge against future surprises, allowing software and mission data to do more of the heavy lifting as threats evolve. Decisions now being written into budget tables, how fast to build, how many to retrofit, when to introduce unmanned teammates, will determine whether the Rafaeli remains a sharp instrument or grows into a flexible, scalable system of systems. In practical terms, the payoff shows up wherever loops can be shortened. A patrol that once took minutes to confirm a track can do it in seconds. A strike leader who needed a voice call for terminal consent now sees the green light appear on the display as the data chain validates. A naval controller under Emkin gets a passive composite of the air picture and picks the moment to flip the switch. None of this is dramatic until the day it makes the difference between being in position and being late. That, more than any single specification, is what F4.2 brings, a habit of speed, a bias for survival in the spectrum, and the connective tissue to make individual aircraft add up to more than their number. The Rafaeli has long been a multi-role workhorse with finesse. With F4.2, it becomes a more deliberate team player, one that can ghost its way into a problem, coordinate silently, and then deliver effect with precision when timing is everything. The technology is the headline, 
but the real story is the cadence, steady orders, measured deliveries, continuous training, and an architecture designed to absorb the next wave. As those pieces align, the French air and navy shift from having the newest standard on a few tails to living with it every day, and that is when an upgrade stops being a feature list and becomes a capability.